This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by Toyota. I'm Shannon Morris from CES 2014, and I have found one of my favorite booths ever, 3D Systems. And I'm here with Keith. Keith, how are you? Hey, good to see you. It's good to see you again, too. I'm so excited to talk to you again. <laughs> and you are here with 3D Systems. You guys have some brand new products to show off this year. I'm super excited about these because I personally love making 3D printing easier for consumers. Tell me about your new systems. Yeah, you know, it's awesome this year because we released the Cube 3. It's a sub $1,000. 3D printer that prints in two colors, dual materials, um, has an insta-load cartridge that you can just, has an integrated nozzle in it, so no more clogging of nozzles, um, no more leveling of the platform, it's factory leveled. I mean, this is a simple machine for your home to empower your creativity. It's awesome. I'm really thrilled to bring it. I've had that problem with nozzles actually you know, totally screwing up on me with my own 3D printer at home. Do you have to build this or does it come all pre-installed and ready to go? So this is fully assembled. For, for under $1,000, you're going to have a fully assembled machine just out of the box, plug and play, with features that you're, you're accustomed with your other device, with your other, um, uh, pro with other products on the market. So like um, mobility, so you can use your iPhone or your Android device to print from. Um, our website integrates a shelf that you can save your, uh, your uh, objects on, or a design feed where you can print straight to the cube. I mean, it's awesome. So cubify.com is going to have all these features that integrate with the cube. And what kind of filament does this use? The same stuff that we've seen before? Yeah, so the common filament is uh, PLA and ABS, and this can print um, both types of material, but it has two nozzles, so you can print two colors or all the materials as well. Oh, that's so fun. I love it. Now, when is this one going to be av available? This is going to be in uh, Q2. So, yeah, so it'll be out pretty soon. Yeah, we're really excited about that. And then we have this big one. It's called the Cube Pro, um, which um, is a, our prosumer um, machine that um, has the same features, same kind of UI, UI touch screen, color touch screen, works with your mobile device, but you can print things that are lar lar way larger. So the size How of, big? How big? The size of a basketball. Yeah, yeah. So really, really big. Uh, so I could actually print my own basketball. It might not bounce, but I could totally do that. In, in three colors. So this has up to three colors you can do. And uh, yeah, and this also has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, just like the Cube. So yeah, great features uh, for, for your home or your office. Yeah. So your market here is definitely for consumers. What are you envisioning that they create with these? Well, you know, like this past year, we started releasing our, our printers and we're selling them uh, at places like Staples, selling on Amazon, you know. Uh, so you, there, it actually has hit the consumer market. This is mainstream now. So my goal is to make these machines easy to use. Um, the hobby is no longer um, tinkering with the machine. It's just plug and play. This is just like any other device. It's really, I want to make things and I want to make them easy and keep it simple. So for the, for the mainstream audience, I think this is a machine they're going to want. Um, they're just going to have fun and enjoy creating and you can uh, spend the time modeling and creating things and that's what this actually does for you. Now I'm super excited about the price of the Cube. Now how much is the Cube Pro? Um, this is going to be uh, sub 5,000 depending on which model you get. Um, so there's, you can get one, two, or three um, uh, print jets on it. So it will be below that. But um, it's more of a robust machine. They both print at 75 um, micron thinness. I don't say, uh, yeah, so I won't say thickness anymore for layer height. So it's, it's actually thinness. 75 micron is amazing. Um, the Q Pro actually has another, uh, you can print up to 350 if you want to do like a fast draft mode. We actually have that too. So there's some options. Um, the Q Pro also has a, a build chamber. So it's a con controls temperature in there. So you can get some really nice large prints. And the website still works just as it usually did. It's super easy to use for the consumers. Um, it's a brand new website. We just launched a new Cubify 2.0. This is a, a, a brand new website. Um, it's a way for people to co-create with their brands. Um, it, it's more of a digital uh, 3D printing lifestyle. So there's different categories like uh, fashion, decor. So when you go there, you can explore uh, w where you fit into this 3D printing world. It's no longer where, where uh, I'm, I'm looking and what do I make or what. You, you can actually um, co-create with your favorite brands. We have brands like Nuka. Um, we, this is a Nuka watch that's 3D printed. Um, yeah, so we, we have some, some really cool fashion brands, like shoes that are 3D printing, lighting fixtures. So we have home, uh, things for your home, like home decor. Um, and also 3D Systems has a huge portfolio. I mean, you know, we invented 3D printing 30 years ago. We go beyond these home machines. We can print in ceramics. We can print in sugar. We can print in metal. And all these uh, products you can, you can purchase in all these great... Uh, and great materials online through uh, cubify.com. So 
Yeah, it, the revolution has begun. <laughs> the revolution has totally begun, and I'm so excited to see this come into the mainstream. And it's about time that we can start making things for ourselves. Keith, thank you so much for speaking to me today about everything that's involved with 3D systems. Where can people find out more? Well, if you go to cubify.com, you can find everything you want to know how it fits in your 3D printing lifestyle. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And if you guys want to check out more 3D systems, you can go over to revision3.com slash CES2014. Thanks once again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.